Right. We chained the fins too. If you could. <sighs> Creatures hurting, but we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. Why enslave the creature? Its fat is a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns. Whatever anger you're feeling. Whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made? No. I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. <sighs> Creature, the mining rigs, their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. You great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But... No. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off. Scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. But that's not enough. It seldom is.
So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Where they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Hello? Huh. Seems abandoned. Ah. With the mining rigs disabled, it seems a bit fresher out here. That seems... is. I... You're right. Thanks, brother. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. It does. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name. And, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! Uh, hey there. So, what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh. Uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tear! Durlan helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. Hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Darling, he didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Darling's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. True believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. Whoa. Is that a Drekkie? Definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... A oh, oh, out! Yeah. <laughs> 
That one was tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. Think that Drekius will kill the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok, to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. Looks like we have to get this one back on the track. Stone. Oh, uh, Thiener. Yeah, covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sinfri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could. Uh oh. So, point the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. There's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. Might you be able to freeze it? <laughs> I hope you can make that jump. another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye. Might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? 
Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? <sighs> Heavier than I thought. <clears throat> Thanks. Let's keep moving. <clears throat> Certainly smells like we're headed into a mine. I think I can hear the water, too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those wretches were coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close! <laughs> One left. He's dead. That'll take care of the rest of these things. That's all of them. The smell these things leave behind is so gross. A small consequence for disturbing the home. Let's keep moving. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff. And I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's a door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Words instructions do not say which one. Nope, we're on our own here. Your question from before, about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time, there are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword, flux. Look, there's a door just across the gap. Tear could be right there. That's it. Come on. Let's take that lift up. Tear can't be far. They certainly weren't here. Best look around. I feel a breeze. 
We might be able to get out of here. Another empty vault. Ahem. <clears throat> Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we... No, don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. 